Hey guys, Henning and Morton from Flip Normals here. And this is very exciting. This is our first premium tutorial in a while, actually. Yeah. So we've had a lot of requests for games related things. Mm. And as most of you know, we're VFX based in the film industry. So we reached out to our good friend Gavin Golden, who we worked with before, mm. to create a two part series for you guys about modeling and texturing and how to approach it in a um, video game environment. Yeah. We were super excited about this one, like Morton said, because we, we we have been covering a lot of film stuff, and then all the comments are like, yeah, but what about what about games? Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we figured, you know, now it's time to to get some proper game stuff out here. This is a this is a really solid and elaborate tutorial on on essentially that how to make game ready models. Mm -hmm. Uh, we just want to quickly just talk about Gavin, just because um, he has a lot of legitimacy. <laughs> yeah, he's got a good resume. Yeah, he's been doing this for a long time now. So Gavin, he, Gavin Golden, he's currently um, a lead character artist at Insomniac Games, where he's been working now for quite some time. He um, he's currently working on the latest uh, Spider-Man game for PS4, mm -hmm. which we are both very excited about. I'm super excited. I for can't it. wait to <laughs> watch Morton play that on a PS4. <laughs> and previously, he worked on Sunset Overdrive. Bioshock Infinite, Dragon Age, yeah. and there's some other cool games in there as well. We're not yeah. listing all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's he's got an impressive resume, and um, some of you might have seen his previous tutorial, which mm. was our um, game creation yeah. character tutorial. He covers everything there. He that, that, that's that's more of an overview. So mm -hmm. if anyone of you have seen that one, that's like you cover. He's covering like everything from start to finish, but yeah. it's more the principles and the overall like tools and all that. It's not so much so in depth. Well, this one here, we are. Oh, well, I would say we. Uh, <laughs> I say Gavin. Gavin. <laughs> Gavin is going far more in depth in this, showing uh, showing how to. Uh, to sculpt properly stuff, he's going. He's really going in depth when it comes to like the character design process, mm -hmm. starting from uh, from a very generic base mesh and just sculpting this bad boy up here. Yeah, uh, really just figuring out the story. This is something Mort and I have been talking about a lot in our videos as well, which is, you know, you got You got to have some. You got to observe your 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 characters and really have a deep story in it. Because if you if you're gonna do a character and you see good or bad, well, you gotta figure these things out. Yeah. So it's really like about like you know gathering the reference, figuring out who your character is, and just building something which fits in the world. Yeah, all those things really infer how the character design is gonna yeah. end up, and I think that's something Gavin is very good at. Very much so. It's it's one of these things that if if, if you're doing uh, if you're doing like only hardcore topology five years let's mm -hmm. face it that that might be obsolete or yeah. you know your specific technique or hotkeys or whatnot that kind of stuff is is very much dependent on the time you're in but stuff like character design and the yeah. sculpting principles you know gavin is using the same principles here you did used to sculpt things like many hundred years ago <laughs> only using zbrush <laughs> <laughs> that's why i like uh, working with gavin because his tutorials aren't just press this hotkey mm. and uh, use this specific tool, yeah. it's the techniques. Yeah. yeah, we'll go through how to do some specific topology, for you know, sure. how to how to do the topology for the face, because th that's important when you're when yeah. you're working in games or films or whatever. Yeah. Um, we're we're going to be looking at how to do like some basic clothing in there, yeah. modeling for that. But really importantly, we're going to be focusing a lot on the sculpting, yeah. a lot on the form, a lot on the silhouette, how to get this kind of brute looking yeah. but semi friendly character <laughs> you know he i think gavin described him as a he's kind of a bad guy but he's still approachable <laughs> and i feel like that really shows in in the design of it yeah exactly yeah like we said like what we what, what what i find personally and i think what you agree what would agree with here more than that the hard part is sculpting is the creativity for this mm -hmm. and if if you focus purely on technical things yeah. i mean of course those things are super important as well but it's really the it's really the principles yeah. that we do here. So we we have some chapters here which are super nice, such as uh, fairly in depth sculpting of the face. Like it's really just going in, going in and just refining the face and properly mm -hmm. detailing it up. And then there are definitely some chapters as well covering um, the topology, like covering topology of the face, uh, of of the vest here as well. And one thing one thing that's cool is we'll be providing everything that Gavin is doing mm. in the tutorial. So you'll have access to his complete Z tool, the base meshes he's using, for yeah. you to really dissect and, mm. and try to sort of reverse engineer it. And I think the combination of having the videos where Gavin goes through his entire process and looking at the model at the same time, sort of following along, to see what you can learn from it. Yeah. Like looking at something like the face in Seabrush, you get a really good sense of 
all the planes of the face, yeah. what what design elements make up his face and what is it that gives him character. So, you know, you can zoom in, you can go in like, okay, there's a pore right there in mm-hmm. the nose. <laughs> Maybe that's not the detail you want to focus on, <laughs> but still, like, you have the ability to really take it for a spin and, and figure out what is Gavin's approach yeah. to this kind of design. What I find to be just so valuable, particularly when you start from anything new, isn't just to look at a tutorial how it's done. It is really like Morton saying here, reverse engineer it. Like you look at the model and, and figure really figure out. Like when you're starting out, it, it can be incredibly hard to to com- compare your work to to somebody else's work. Like you you actually don't necessarily know what level you're at. But if you have something like this, you kind of have like a gold standard for it. Mm. So you can go in here and you can really see how he's resolved the anatomy, like in terms of the topology, how has he done it? And and really just getting in and just learning from it. Yeah. Understanding the shapes, understanding the choices he's made as well. And also where you can cheat. Because <laughs> you don't <laughs> have true. to you don't have to spend the same amount of energy on all on all areas. Like you can see that the face would definitely be more detailed than something like his, his armpit. Yeah, and you look at you look at the sub tools, like see, oh, there was no thumb there or no <laughs> fingers because it's all covered in a glove. Yeah. So these are the kinds of techniques that Gavin's gonna go through. And I think that's why his overall approach is is, is really nice to follow. Because mm. I mean he is a professional and he knows what he's talking about. Yeah, you could say he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> if you've applied to Insomnia Games, he's probably looked at your portfolio <laughs> once or he's twice. Been, he's been raging about, don't use VIX, use ArtStation. Use ArtStation. Hey, a... Gavin hates demo reels, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did an article about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gavin is very ranty when it comes to his portfolios. He likes his portfolios done a certain <laughs> way, which we understand. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So it's really cool, and we're also... I keep saying we. I yeah, mean, Gavin. I, Gavin, we have to get used to this. So um, Gavin also takes you through sort of a, a quick sort of presentation for mm. how you can present your model in Marmoset, yeah. which I think both Marmoset and even within Substance, you've had the presentation tools for rendering and stuff for a while now. It's really cool. But Marmoset is great for getting something quick out, and it can handle fairly high like yeah. densities of, of, of polys now. So you can have like a super high-res model that you just load into Marmoset, put in some quick lights, put on some materials and yeah. you actually have something really like presentation ready. Yeah, like straight up portfolio ready. You yeah, can put yeah. on your uh, VIX portfolio. Oh no, I mean art station. <laughs> <laughs> Not VIX. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's really something that we've also been talking about a lot, like presentation style. I can't stress how important that is. I see, I see students all the time who's just doing like a Maya screenshot or something mm. like that. And present your work properly i mean regardless of this uh if you get this tutorial not like present your work properly yeah. really just take it take it into something like marmoset tool bag it's such such a good tool yeah as well. yeah and then um just just briefly just super quickly talking about the next tutorial as well like this one here is all about modeling yeah the next one will be focusing on the texturing part of it mm-hmm. we'll, you know it's going to go through the uv process is, is covering how to do all the textures and substance mm-hmm. and just how to do a full character. Yeah. So with this part one and the coming part two, we'll essentially go from very rough base mesh to a full full production ready. Yeah. How would you approach it in production? You know, yeah. that's that's really the key thing. It's not about you have to build this thing from scratch. Mm. It's about being efficient. Where can you cheat? Yeah. Um, how would the topology look for games? So yeah. at the end of this, you'll end up with the knowledge of actually being able to create a game ready character. Yeah. I would say this is uh, Mort and I both both watched this tutorial now in and we take a crazy amount of notes and because we're learning a lot from this as well. Like <laughs> yeah, we're, exactly. we're in film, we're super interested in learning how this can be done in games as well. So um, we both been learning a lot from this from mm-hmm. uh, from Gavin and uh, I th- we really think that you will learn a lot as well. Yeah. So sit back, relax, and uh, hopefully enjoy Gavin's amazing <laughs> modeling tutorial. Yeah, we'll think you'll, we think you we think you'll you'll like it.